Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to discuss another interview question of Databricks. Before moving on, I do recommend that you can follow me on LinkedIn as well. I will leave the link in the description box. So let's move ahead and see exactly what question we have for today. So this is one of the very, very commonly asked interview question that how Synapse notebooks are different from your Databricks notebooks or how Synapse Spark is different from your Databricks Spark. So when you talk about Synapse and the Databricks, when you have both of these technologies on your resume, this is kind of a very common question and this also leads to another question that okay in which case you are going to use synapse notebooks in which case you are going to use the databricks notebooks so let's see what is the difference between both of these so remember that the very first point of difference is that synapse uses open source version of apache spark however when you talk about databricks it is an optimized version of apache spark databricks is an optimized version of apache spark whereas synapse uses open source version of apache spark so even in databricks you know you have a very fast data processing because there are a lot of optimizations done on the databricks clusters especially you, if you remember you actually select the runtime right the runtime itself has each runtime has a lot of optimizations on top of apache spark so same query with the same amount of data if you run in the synapse notebook uh, or same kind of transformation on same set of data if you do it in uh, synapse you will see the performance is much better in the databricks just because of these optimizations databricks you know allow you to choose from a list of cluster it has gpu enabled clusters as well for your machine learning workloads so now when you talk about synapse studio or when you talk about synapse notebooks remember that in databricks you can use databricks connect and you can connect to the databricks through any ide you know you know you can connect to the databricks using your visual studio using your pycharm editor simply by using few commands and by using databricks connect however that is not the functionality that you have with the synapse you can synapse does not support any other ide synapse basically it also has a uh, built-in support for the azure ml right to support your machine learning workflows but remember that azure synapse does not provide full support of git so when you in contrast basically when you talk about databricks it is specifically optimized for your machine learning workloads it is optimized for you know it especially has your gpu enabled clusters if you have seen right when you select the clusters from the list you will see an option of gpu enabled cluster and also it has very tight version control using git so databricks notebook they support automated versioning as well databricks on the other side uh, also has uh, you know the concept of the data governance with unity catalog coming into picture you can share your data across workspaces or you can share your data you know to the external user as well so you have quite some functionalities in the data breaks which are not present in the synapse so i hope you are clear with this uh, major difference that you have to point out in case you are asked such a question in interview so thank you so much for being till here and do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel.